trustworthy God. How we love your name. to midday. My name is Pastor David McBride. When we have a group of our staff here, we're here to worship the Lord with you. As you are worshiping the Lord with us at your home, or at your work, wherever you are online, feel free to type in any prayer requests, uh, any praise reports, anything the Lord is doing, any scripture verses that are on your heart. We want to engage with you for this next 45 minutes or so. We're going to sing a few familiar songs. Sing along with us while you're at your home or wherever you your keeper. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. Verse 6 says, the sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. Verse 7, the Lord will preserve you from all evil. He will preserve your soul. And Psalms 121 verse 8 says, the Lord will preserve your going out and your coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. Lord, we're so thankful. Pray with me. If you're online, open up your hands and join me in prayer. Lord, we thank you that you are the God who keeps us. You are the God that preserves us. And we declare that you have a beautiful, wonderful, and powerful name. We set our attention, our focus on that great name of Jesus. Will you say the name Jesus right where you are? Just say that name, Jesus. We thank you for your powerful great name we worship you today join us and sing along with this as we sing together you were the word from the beginning one with God the far most high in hidden glory in creation Jesus. 
praises, oh God. Your name is beautiful, beautiful. Your name is glorious, glorious, glorious. Oh, we sing our praises to you, God. From where we're at right now, oh Lord, we just want to connect with There's power in your name, oh God. I declare it out loud right now. There's power in your name, oh God. I declare it over my home. There is power in your name, oh God. I audibly declare your name out loud. There is power in your name. Let's just say his name right now. Jesus, Jesus, you make the darkness tremble. Jesus, Jesus, yes, Jesus, Jesus, you make the darkness tremble. Jesus, Jesus, come on, wherever you're at, let's declare his name together. Let's sing Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, you make the darkness tremble. Jesus, Jesus, you silence fear. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, you make the darkness tremble. Jesus, Jesus. Bring it on a peace, the storm surrounding me, let it break at your name, all still, you call the sea to still, the rage in me is still, everywhere. We 
Let me say that again still. Let your name oh, still cause she to still the rage of me still everywhere at your name at your One name. One more time, let's sing still. Oh, still call the she to still the rage of me still Come on, let's declare his name. Jesus, Jesus, you make the darkness tremble. Jesus, Jesus, you silence fear. Jesus, Jesus, you make the darkness tremble. Jesus, Jesus. these bones to leave, call these lungs to say, once again, said I, I will praise, come on, say breathe, breathe, call these bones to leave, you call these lungs to say, once again, I will praise, come on, breathe, and breathe, and breathe, call these bones, call these bones to leave. speak to every impossible situation and I declare there is power in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus.
Yeah, we just declare that there's power in the name of Jesus right where you are at your home. Just open up your hands, stretch forth your hands towards your home and just declare that there's power in the name of Jesus. Declare there's power in the name of Jesus over your children, power in the name of Jesus over your business that you own, power in the name of Jesus that powers above every principality, over every sickness. Right now, just begin to declare that, that there's power in the great name of Jesus. The book of Exodus, it talks about how the children of Israel were almost getting ready to be delivered from uh, uh, the Pharaoh. And while they were getting ready to be delivered, he said, put the blood over the doorposts. And when the deaf angel comes by, he's going to pass over your home. So right now, we just put the blood of Jesus over every home of every person watching online right now. And we say the blood of Jesus, the power of Jesus is over our homes. It's over our businesses. It's over our children, our parents our loved ones both near and far the blood of Jesus has no limits so we just say the blood covers the blood is covering now it's covering now that great name of Jesus you make the darkness tremble and you silence the fearful voices that would try to come upon us we thank you we thank you Jesus you make the darkness tremble you make the darkness tremble Yes, you do. Jesus, Jesus, you silence all fear. Silence fear. Would you sing this at home with us? Jesus, Jesus. And play over your dark area. You make He's the making darkness the tremble. tremble. He's silencing fear. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. One more time. Jesus, Jesus. You make the darkness tremble. Jesus. Jesus. This week, we've been able to do a lot of outreach as the virus has reached a lot of different vulnerable areas. And we're going to pray just for the next 30 minutes or so for those that are vulnerable in our area. We are a missional church and we believe that God has not just called us to called us to serve ourselves, but he's called us to serve others. And before we can do anything, we want to pray. Before we can serve others, we want to pray and ask God for strategies and pray for the souls of those that need this area. So can you join me in a place of prayer for those that maybe have lost jobs, for those that are living on the street? Maybe some of you here who are watching, you're, you have lost your job right now. We're going to pray for you that the Lord will begin to move in your home and move in your finances. If you have a need, a prayer need, go ahead and type that in so we can respond to you and begin to intercede on your behalf, knowing that Jesus has power and he makes the darkness tremble. Isaiah 55 is a scripture that you can lean on as a promise. You can open it up at your home if you're uh, joining in with us. It says, Ho, everyone who thirsts, come to the waters. And you who have no money, come by and eat. Yes, come buy wine and milk without money and without price. I'm going to read it again. Everyone who thirsts, everyone who thirsts, come to the waters. And you who have no money, you who have no money, come buy and eat. Yes, come buy wine and milk without money and without price. Let's begin to go to a place of prayer for those who have no money and have nothing to give but need. Lord, we pray right now yes. for our communities, oh Lord, our families, oh God, our children even, our seniors who have no money and have nothing to eat. Lord, we pray right now, would you begin to send provision? You are the God who, who is the God of provision. You have everything that we need. The Bible says that you, oh God, supply all of our needs according to the riches and glory through Christ Jesus. Right now, we pray for each person, oh God, who has a need. And we pray, oh God, that you would begin to fill that need. Lord, in a few moments, we'll pray, oh God, if you want to use us to fill that need. But right now, we pray for their heart. We pray for their mind. We pray in those moments, God, where they feel discouraged, where they feel like letting go. We pray, oh God, we, we cancel the spirit of suicide that would try to run rapid. We cancel, God, the, the feelings of depression, oh God. We pray for that would be help for those who are in those areas of depression. And we say live. We call forth to them and we say live. If you're watching online right now, the Lord says to you live. He says to you live. He says to you live. So Lord, we thank you, oh God, for the life 
that's coming forth now, the life that's coming forth now. And Lord, we pray, we intercede, we intercede now. Will you begin to stand in the gap now? If you're watching online, take a moment and stand in the gap now and begin to ask the Lord, Lord, would you touch those that have no money, touch those that have nothing to give? Would you give them peace in their heart? We call peace to be still in that heart, in that mind. We say, oh, raging waters, still now in Jesus' name. And we thank you, oh God, for a fresh outpouring, a fresh outpouring of yes, peace, a fresh outpouring of peace to fall upon your people now. We give you thanks. We give you thanks. Continue to pray. Our team will sing, but continue to pray. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, you're Jehovah Jireh. You're Jehovah Jireh. You are the provider. You are my good shepherd. I have everything I need in yes, you. God. You're Jehovah Jireh. You are the provider. You are my good shepherd. Oh, you're my good shepherd, yeah. You're Jehovah Jireh. You are the provider. You are the good shepherd, my good shepherd. You're my good shepherd, I declare. You're Jehovah Jireh. You are the provider. You are my good shepherd. You're Jehovah, for you're Jehovah Jireh. You are the provider. You're mine. You are my good shepherd. Declare even when times are rough that you're Jehovah Jireh. You are the provider. You are my good shepherd. Mm. Lord, we pray for our seniors, those, oh God, who are at home and who don't have income coming in because they're being asked to stay home. Lord, we thank you that you are keeping them healthy. You're keeping them safe. But Lord, we pray for their hearts. We pray for their minds. We pray for their provision. Lord, we pray that family, oh God, will come to their aid. We pray if you're uh, a senior and you're at your homes now, would you open up your hands? Lord, we pray for an impartation of provision. The Jehovah Jireh, your provider, is coming to your aid. He sees you right where you are. And Lord, we thank you, oh God, that the provider is coming to the homes here. The provider is coming. Oh God, the provider is coming to the bank accounts. The provider is coming. And Lord, we thank you that you are giving us everything that we need. We pray, oh God, for the widows, Lord. We pray for those that are at home, oh Lord, trying to figure out how to make ends meet, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that right now the churches are rising in prayer. The churches are rising in prayer. Yes, and we're coming to the aid of those. And we send these missiles of prayer to their homes that are bringing peace, yeah. that are bringing hope that are bringing a fresh impartation of joy we pray oh god for the middle aged those who are who are working and who no longer who longer can work no longer can work because their jobs have been canceled oh lord we pray that you would begin to speak right now into their hearts and into their minds and lord we say peace be still in jesus name peace be still in Jesus' name. We thank you, O oh Lord, that you are the provider. We thank you that you are the good shepherd. Look after your sheep. Look after your sheep. Hear our cry and remember your people. Hear our cry and remember your people. We cry out, Lord. It's power, power, wonder working power. In the blood of the Lamb is power, power, wonder-working power in the blood of the Lamb. Yeah, our hearts to the Lamb right now. Power, power, power wonder-working power in the blood. Peace. 
Just declare the promises of God over you. If you're with us online, turn to Isaiah 55, verse 10. We declare this over our hearts, and we pray this prayer in our hearts. For as the rain comes down and the snow from heaven, and do not return there but water the earth and make it bring forth and bud, that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater, so shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. It shall not return to me empty. It shall not return to me void. Yeah. But it will accomplish that what I please. And it shall prosper in the thing for which I sent it. So if you have a promise that he will take care of you, that promise is going to come to pass. Declare that promise over your home now, Lord. We declare that you will take care of us. And Lord, we declare that we will be all right. We receive that promise now. We receive that promise now. And verse 12 said, for you shall go out with joy. For you shall go out with joy and be led out with peace. The mountains and the hills shall break forth into singing before you. And all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. All the trees of the field shall clap their hands. For you shall go out with joy and be led out with peace. Lord, we thank you for the joy that you are leading us out in, the peace that you are leading us out in. And it's a peace that doesn't make any sense. It's a joy that doesn't make any sense, but with open hands for those that are without. Right now, the Lord says, receive my peace. Receive my joy. For I am with you. For I am with you, says the Lord. Can you right now begin to pray for those that maybe aren't watching who need to receive joy? Lord, we send joy. Oh God, we send peace. We send your love. We send your anointing. Your love. We send it. We send it. We send it. Peace like a river flowing from the throne of God. There's peace like a river flowing from your throne, oh God. There's peace like a river flowing from the throne of God. There's peace like a river flowing from the throne of God. Oh, your peace, oh Lord, is overflowing, God. Joy like a river, there's peace, there's peace like a river, peace like a river, there's joy, there is joy like a river, joy like a river, peace, there is peace like a river, there is peace 
like a river. So we're going to shift shift gears just a little bit. I want us to begin to pray for our church. During this time, uh, we can become very uh, introspective and just begin to care about what's going on in our own lives and our own homes. And I think there's a place for that where we are being responsible. But I do believe as a missional church, the Lord has called us to care for others and to ask uh, our own hearts. Pastor Dan mentioned this as well, that we stay positive and not just stay positive in our talk, but be but be, uh, continue to be a positive impact to our world that's outside, our communities that are outside. So can we begin to pray that the Lord would stir up our hearts, would wake up our hearts even, that we would begin to say, what does our neighbor need? What do others need during this time? With, with, with proper boundaries and, and within reason, but what can we do to help others during this time rather than what can we do just to help ourselves? We, we have a, a community that everyone's looking after them, themselves but now as a church, can we be a place that would, would would show what the standard of hospitality really looks like? Can we be the church that would say, God, what are you calling us to do? Who are you calling us to serve? Right now, we have volunteers serving all over the Hampton Roads area, helping those that don't have meals and those who need groceries. Lord, what's our way of helping you? It's our neighbor next door. Do they need help? Do they need resources? So right now, would you open up your hands, open up your heart uh, to the Lord? If you're watching online, would you begin to maybe send out prayer requests of those that need that help? Or maybe even make a prayer yourself to say, Lord, awaken my heart of how I can help others. Lord, right now, we ask you that you begin to awaken the hearts of your people. Lord, oh God, we thank you that you are the provider and you take care of us. We've begun to get, we've been declaring that Jehovah, oh, you are our provider. And Lord, we thank you that you are the one who provides everything that we need. But Lord, we pray for those. We pray for those who do not have. We pray for those that are, are, are without. And Lord, we ask you now this request. What's our role? How can we help others awaken New Life Church even the more? We thank you for what we have been doing, but Lord, what is our personal responsibilities? Have we checked on our neighbor? Lord, awaken our hearts. Have we helped those that are, are without awaken our hearts? Oh God, I pray, oh God, for the Spirit of God to awaken us once again and say, Lord, how can we help our seniors? How can we help the neighbor who has lost their job, the business who has closed down? Lord, what are the things that we have in our, uh, in, in our resources that can help someone else? Awaken the church, oh God. Awaken, Awaken the church, the church oh, oh God. We pray, oh Lord, that we would be hands and feet. May they see the body of Jesus walking outside of our doors, walking outside of our buildings. May they see the body of Jesus going to the sick and to the shut-in. May they see the body of Jesus going to the parent who is trying to figure out how to uh, love and deal with their children. Children, may we see, oh God, may we be the body and see those that are in need. We say yes, God. We say yes to what you would have us and we give ourselves to you. And we say, Lord, would you use us in this way? Would you baptize us in the spirit of hospitality and allow us, oh God, to be oh, the smile that someone needs to be the prayer, that someone needs to be hope to someone that needs it. We give ourselves to you. We say, Lord, we are here to serve your people. We are here to serve the world that you've created. We're here to serve our neighbors. Oh, God, would you show us how? We say yes to your will. We are your church. We say yes to your will. We say yes, God. We are your church. We say yes to your will. We are your church, we say yes to your will. For we are your church, we say yes to your will. For we are your church, we say yes to your will. For we are your church, we say yes to your will. We are your church. We say yes to your will, for we are your church, oh Lord. We say yes to you. We say 
your hands and feet. We your hands and feet, O oh Lord. Would the love of God flow from my home? Would the peace of God flow from my home, O oh Lord? Put people in my path, O oh God, to show your love, O oh Lord. Lord, what would you have us do? What would you have us say? Lord, whether it be prayer walks in our neighborhood, whether it be going around to our different neighbors asking for prayer requests, oh Lord, whether it be feeding the, the hungry, Lord, whether it be helping those, oh Lord, who we know are distressed during this time, oh Lord, would you give us the way? Would you show us the way? Would you give us a spirit of yes? Would you allow us, oh God, to be missional? Would you encourage us? Would you give us boldness in the ways of being missional? Oh Lord, would you give us the songs to sing? Give us the words to say. Lord, we say yes to you, oh Lord. Yes now we you, walk Lord. out and we say we will go and be who you've called us to be. For you are sending us as New Life Church. You are sending us as New Life Church, oh Lord, to the dark places, oh Lord, but also to the lighter places. You're sending us to every nook and cranny. You're saying, Go, go and be my hands and feet. Go and be my heart. Go and be my voice. Go and be my thoughts. Go, go, go for my word needs to be carried to the ends of the earth, to the ends of your neighborhood, to the ends of your communities. Now go, go and be what I've called you to be. And it's not a time to shut down. It's the time to open up your heart to say, God, how would you want to use me during this time? I will go where you're calling. I will go where you're working. I will go where you're leading. I will go where you're leading. I will go where you're calling. I will go to where you're leading. Where you're leading, oh Lord. And I will go to where you're leading. I will go to where you're calling, I will go to where you're leading. Jesus, Jesus, you make the darkness tremble. Jesus, Jesus, you silence fear. Sing Jesus, Jesus, you make the darkness tremble. Jesus, Jesus, I will go, oh, and I will go to where you're leading. I will go to where you're calling me. I will go to where you're leading. You're leading, you're calling. I will go to where you're leading. I will go to where you're calling. I will go to where you're leading. Lord, we thank you for the opportunity to serve you and to serve your people. We thank you, Lord, that you are empowering us with everything that we need. And Lord, we receive that now. We're just about done here in our time of prayer. Let me just give a quick pastoral word of instruction. As you are going and, and leading, please be healthy in your going. Please be healthy in your going. Please don't uh, sacrifice yourself in the area of trying to serve, but be wise in your going. But let's continue to ask the Lord, what are those ways that we can go? What are the ways that we can reach out? Psalms, not Psalms, Matthew chapter 25, these verses, it says this, verse 31, it says, when the son of man comes in his glory. After we read this verse, we're going to just sing one more chorus through and, and then we'll be done. When the son of man comes in his glory and all the holy angels with him, then he will sit on 
the throne of his glory. All the nations will be gathered before him, and he will separate them one from another as a shepherd divides his sheep from the goats. And he will set the sheep on his right, the goats on the left. Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. I was a stranger, and you took me in. I was naked, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you visited me. I was in prison, and you came to me. Then the righteous will answer him, saying, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty, and you give you drink? When did we see you a stranger and take you in, or naked and clothe you? When did we see you sick or in prison and come to you? And the king will answer and say to them, Assuredly, I say to you, inasmuch as you did it to one of the least of my brethren, you did it to me. Lord, we thank you for New Life Church. We thank you for a church, oh God, that reaches out to anyone who is in need. And Lord, we pray, oh God, that Lord, you would continue to wake us up both collectively and individually, that, Lord, we would go out and the darkness would tremble as it sees the church going into communities, that the darkness would tremble as it sees the individuals going to their neighbors, that the darkness would tremble as it sees the church uh, praying for different prayer requests, that the darkness would tremble as it sees the church share, and the darkness would tremble as it sees the church rise up and be who you've called us to be, the feet, the hands, the lungs, the arms, of Jesus Christ, we say yes, and we say we will make, oh God, your name renowned, oh God, in every community in Suffolk, oh God, in Virginia Beach, in Chesapeake, in Norfolk, Lord, every city in Hampton, Lord, we will make the name of Jesus renowned, and the darkness will tremble at the name of Jesus, at the body of Jesus going forth into every community, into every area, Lord, we thank you for wisdom, we we thank you for discernment. We thank you for boldness. And we thank you for our yes in our spirit. Lord, we say, Jesus, you make the darkness tremble. Oh, God, we are afraid of the darkness. We're going to go, Lord God, to where you lead us. Give us the courage to do so. As we prepare to go, let's sing this chorus. Jesus. Oh, Jesus, Jesus. Sing this in your home as we prepare to go. You make the darkness tremble, Jesus. Jesus, we silence fear. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, you make the darkness tremble. Jesus, Jesus, you silence fear. One more time, declare it up. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, you make the darkness tremble. Jesus, Jesus. Lord, we thank you. We celebrate the provision of the Lord for the house of the Lord. We thank you, oh God, the provision is coming, Lord, to every home. We thank you for those, Lord, that um, are going to have testimonies, oh God, in two months. They're going to have testimonies of how you've made a way and how you have brought everything that they needed during this time. We, we, we celebrate with those right now who are on camera. We declare that you are going to have everything that you need, that the Lord is, will supply all your needs according to his riches and glory through Christ Jesus. And Lord, right now, as we begin to close this time of prayer, we open up our hearts to you, Lord, and we thank you, Lord, that you are sending us out. I send you out now, New Life Church, to a world that needs the hope of Christ, the hope of Christ, the hope of Christ. Maybe it will come through a prayer, maybe it will come through a meal, but we thank you, Lord, that you are sending us out to be the hope of Christ to every community that we see. And at this midday hour, we, oh God, celebrate the calling of Christ to go forward and make the darkness tremble. We receive that now, and we say yes and amen. You say amen on the screen, yes and amen. We want to encourage you every day at noon, we'll be here for midday, time of prayer and worship. We'll be covering different topics, and on Sunday morning, join us on our 
uh, on online on our page, on our website. You can join us for service at 10 a.m., a time of worship. Pastor Dan will be giving us a message as well. Come in and let's continue to gather together as the body of Christ. Let's continue to be his hands and feet. God bless you, everyone.